In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to identify extraneous solutions when solving radical equations. So let's start with this one. We have the square root of x plus 2 plus 4 is equal to x. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve this equation. Chances are we're going to get multiple solutions. With those solutions, we're going to plug in each one into the original equation. And if we find any solution that doesn't work, or that doesn't fit it to the original equation, that is the extraneous solution. So let's go ahead and begin. Let's start by moving the four to the other side. We can do that if we subtract both sides by four. So what we have left over is gonna be the square root of x plus two, and that's gonna equal x minus four. Now, in order to get rid of the square root symbol, what we need to do is we need to take the square of both sides. On the left side, the square and the square root will cancel, giving us just x plus 2. On the right side, we have x minus 4 squared, so we need to FOIL. x minus 4 squared is x minus 4 written twice. If we FOIL it, we're going to have x times x, which is x squared, and then x times negative 4, that's minus 4x, and then negative 4 times x is negative 4x, and then negative 4 times negative 4, positive 16. So now let's go ahead and combine like terms on the right side. So we can combine negative 4x with another one, and that's going to add up to negative 8x. And so that's what we have at the moment. Now, in order to solve for the value of x, we need to move everything from the left side to the right side. So if we move x to the other side, this is going to be negative x. Negative 8x and negative x, that's a negative 9x. If we move the 2 to the other side, it's going to be negative 2 on that side. 16 minus 2, that's going to be positive 14. So now at this point, we need to factor. What two numbers multiply to positive 14, but add to negative 9x? We have 1 and 14 and 2 and 7. Now, 2 times 7, that's positive 14, but in order for it to add up to negative 9x, we need both negative 2 and negative 7. Negative 2 plus negative 7 will add up to negative 9, but will still multiply to positive 14. So we can write this as x minus 2 times x minus 7. Now, using the zero product property rule, we can set each factor equal to zero, because zero times anything is zero. So we could set x minus 2 equal to zero, and x minus 7 equal to zero. Adding 2 to both sides, we get that x is equal to positive 2. And then for the other one, we just got to add 7 to both sides, and we get x is equal to positive 7. So those are the two solutions that we have for this radical equation. The question is, which one is extraneous and which one is the real solution? So we need to test them both to find the answer. Let's start with this one, x equals 2. So everywhere we see an x value, we're going to replace it with 2. So now 2 plus 2 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. 
and 2 plus 4 is 6. Now 6 does not equal 2, so therefore this solution didn't work for the original equation. So this is an extraneous solution. Now let's try the other solution, x equals 7. Let's check to see if it's extraneous. So let's replace x with 7. 7 plus 2 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 plus 4 is 7. And 7 equals 7. So this is the true solution. The solution that works in the original equation. So now you know how to identify or how to check for any extraneous solution. The key is just to take that solution, plug it into the original equation, and see if it works for the original equation. If not, that solution is extraneous. Now let's try another example for the sake of practice. So let's say we have the square root of 2x, and that's equal to x minus 4. So feel free to pause the video and work on this example problem. Check for any extraneous solutions. Now, in order to solve for x, the first thing we need to do is take the square of both sides. Just like before, the square and the square root will cancel. So on the left side, we'll just get 2x. On the right side, we need to expand this expression x minus 4 squared is equivalent to x minus 4 times x minus 4. x times x is x squared. x times negative 4, that's negative 4x. This will be negative 4x as well, and that's going to be positive 16. So combining like terms, on the right side, we're going to have x squared minus 8x plus 16. Now let's subtract both sides by 2x. So we'll have 0 is equal to x squared minus 10x plus 16. So now we need to factor. What are two numbers that multiply to 16 that add to negative 10? So this is going to be negative 8 and negative 2. Negative 8 plus negative 2 is negative 10, but they multiply to positive 16. So we can factor this trinomial as x minus 8 times x minus 2. Now, using the zero product property, we're going to get the solutions x is equal to 8. Let me write it below here and x is equal to 2. Now let's see which of these, if any, is extraneous. So let's start with the first one. Let's plug in x equals 8 to the original equation. So we're going to replace x with 8 and we'll have this. 2 times 8 is 16. 8 minus 4 is 4. The square root of 16 is 4. So as we can see, this worked. So this is not an extraneous solution. It's an, a real, true solution. Now let's try the other one. Let's plug in 2. So we're going to have the square root of 2 times 2. And that's going to equal 2 minus 4. Now 2 times 2 is 4. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And the square root of 4 is 2. So 2 does not equal negative 2. So therefore, the second solution is extraneous. It doesn't work in the original equation. So that's how you can check for any extraneous solutions. Whenever you're solving a radical equation 
a rational equation, or even an absolute value equation, it's always good to check for extraneous solutions, especially when you have multiple solutions. Even when dealing with logarithms or natural logs, there are times where you could get extraneous solutions.